Welcome back to the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. We are all tied up one to one here. Immunity came out, struck first blood. Yep. Game two, intensity answers the call. Game three, though, it's Blitz. And on Blitz, this is where we see a lot of momentum. Yeah, uh, that just, you know, I, I don't want to say I'm shocked because when you go from respawn, obviously S and D, they're they're so entirely different. We'll say it time and time again. It's like it's almost like playing a different game. To it a is 100. percent And uh, we saw Immunity come out and just dominate game one. And then towards the end of that S and D, there it was TEC intensity looking very very strong. So this third game, um, it's we a big haven't one. we haven't had the opportunity at least since being here this weekend to watch either of them play a Blitz because we were casting other yep. matches. So. Um, this is exciting for well, us. Well, I can tell you right away that Immunity is probably going to be super aggressive with four subs. The map is Freight. And what do we know about Freight, Maven? We know that white control is imperative. Yeah, white control is huge. Um, also, just if you're getting top control, whether it's on easy side, it, just yeah. getting back basically with a sub in their side and just being a nuisance can make that, control that be so, so easy because all the attention can be focused on this one guy just darting yep. around. And the one thing, is as soon as you enter your opponent's base, you control where they spawn. Because yeah. you don't spawn close to your enemies. You spawn on the opposite side. So if you get behind their base, you know they will not be spawning there. And that's what we see nine times out of ten the good teams do. But we are going to go ahead and jump straight yeah. into the action here. Jumping on board with Buzzo, who is going to be attacking Owens. Yeah, and uh, Buzzo so far strong, uh, strong event for him. Looked great in that first series. I looking, switched it from him. Like looking it. strong here. Uh, I was about to say, yeah, because I call him strong, and now, now he's dead. But uh, yeah, we'll see who you know can kind of get off to an early lead here nice. and see the tactics these guys are gonna be running. You know, you said immunity would be running four subs. Is that the case? Off oh spot? yeah. Okay. Uh, four subs for immunity. Uh, waiting to take a look over here at the other side. We have Robs with the sub, and we're gonna stay on board with Robs. He's in a great spot here. He really needs to play this a little bit slow. White. Is so uh, important. Good, because great you spot get there from of him. White, you get control of white. You force oh. him to spawn right in the back. And oh, Wonder's going to be able to put the first yep. one in. So TEC is on the board. Let's see if they can uh, continue the great play they oh, carried over this. from game two. This is exactly what I was talking about. So look where Realize is on the minimap and yep. notice where you're going to see immunity spawn. He's going to push in and he's going to be taken out. And look, they spawn just like that right in the back crates. It's exactly what you want. It's two to one, though. Yeah, that spot he had in the back is, like, the biggest nuisance. Like, just being around there, just running around, just creating havoc. It just it, it makes the communication more of a pain for the other team. It makes them focus on stuff they don't necessarily want to be. It's just a great spot, great position, and great play by him. Rampage is going to be taking out Shocks now, going into the power spot. This is where we see so many huge plays come in. His teammate's going to be taken down, and he's ah, just going to yeah. jump right on it. I'm not worried about that guy. He's going to jump through his yeah. face. Yeah, that's it. Just a hop, drop down, get your ego on, girl, you know? And now we are taking a look here. Wonder now starting to push up. Melo wasn't able to get control. And now Realize is able to get control of White. I would like to see him just kind of slow down just a little bit and tr just try to slay. And he has oh one my. kill them at all. Oh. Stopped a little bit short. <laughs> I was just about to say, those one-on-ones you win there, I'll say it time and time again, those are what make Caps happen. Look at but, Rob's. Uh, another Rob's guy there to good clean spot it up. Too. And, uh, yeah, the, the scoring is really going uh Going fast here. I mean, we're at 4-3. Uh, the lead is currently with TEC. Uh, we'll see if the guy's over. Uh, oh. Uh, wow. He was able to sneak it in. Wow. Right right through that gunfire. So now it's 5-3. A little under three minutes to go. Uh, they're starting to build a little bit of control oh. here. Is he able to run back and just get another cap? He was. He just sprinted <laughs> right back across. 6-3. And that, oh, wow. look at Naked was wow. like, oh, Buzzo, I'll kill you too. Yeah, don't, you, just... don't you dare sneak up on me. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was close. And uh, for those of you at home, there is friendly fire. So that uh, that would not have ended well. Nope. But uh, we're would getting down uh, two and a half minutes, still 6-3. The scoring oh, we has kind of slowed for a second here. We have a little bit of a sneaky Oh, yeah, look at he is. He's going like to wait for jackal. everybody to push out, and this should be just a walk-in cap. Yep. What a play there by Wonder. That, that's exactly what you want to see, man. That is, that is high caliber. Call of Duty play. You just be very patient, wait for your teammates to make the call out, and then slowly push it. So, 7 to 3 here, four point differential here. Shock's now going to challenge. Oh my God, he is so aggressive. As a guy, and oh, he oh, embarrasses well, him, and now the cap. he's rewarded. Great a cap. plays by Shocks there. I mean, looked a little too aggressive at first, but it, it worked out, and that was a very, very easy cap for him then. Um, the, the lead's 7 4, still staying in that like, three area we've been in for quite a while now, a bit under two minutes. Oh. And, uh, you know, the, how strong is TEC looking after that start? You know, game one made me a little nervous, but uh, they're really uh, taking control here. Yeah, they look really, really good here. Three-point lead. 
Taking a look here, jumping on board with Rampage. Rampage trying to get into the spawn trap spot. When you hold this top level, I mean, they're forced to come through this door. Oh my god, he got a lunge from the gods! Yeah, that was like a Halo 2 sword or something. That seemed to be... A, he that was a big like lunge, four, man. Was a four, uh, four stair, well, uh, plus stair there, but that, uh, that was a great kill. And uh, just like that, we're getting down almost to the final minute mark. Um, it, it's weird, you know, all that capping that was happening in the first couple minutes just kind of came to a halt. We've only had two caps really in the past minute and a half. Rob trying to be a little bit creative here and he's going to be able to dodge in and that's such a good route. Notice why he goes right and then left. It gives his health just a little bit of time to regenerate and plus they aren't able to hit those shots. Yeah, unfortunately, so really yeah, good. Rob caught sprinting there and yeah, that's, that's the worst. Getting caught sprinting is never, never a fun time. But that we're going to see if who, which team is going to really man up and make some plays here with 45 seconds left. Uh, they just extend the lead, 9-5. to five. Uh, Four, you know, honestly, in Blitz, four is nothing to really worry about. You, you can score in bunches in this game type, but uh, they want to keep it as close as possible, obviously. And for those of you out there who may be wondering why Buzzo's rocking this vector with the red dot, well, it comes down to preference, but for a lot of you ARs out there, we're starting to see as Cod Ghost really turning into this sub heavy game very easy transition is to rock the red dot on the vector it's very consistent it doesn't jump too much and it kind of gives you that comfort zone of getting used to the red dot yep and uh wow we saw they uh you know while we were on with him trying to get in that battle across map with the red dot, there were, were a couple caps put in yep um for immunity so 10 8 you know they they were down four with about 45 seconds to go getting two caps there in those final 45 seconds are huge so it's all going to come down to this second map. Whoever's going to take this 2-1 lead will definitely be looking strong to finish out this match and take control of this group. Well, all on the line here. I'm going to go ahead and say the winner of this game will win the series. The winner of this game wins the group? I mean, that that's highly, highly plausible with uh, what happened with Envy. So uh, let's see what happens here We're just at the start of this. Uh, oh, man, that's scary if you are an Envy fan as well. Yeah, no, very, very scary for him as fan. But look, yeah, look at Mello, 17 and 11. We're on now with Robs. Is he going to just get a fast, just sprinted? Yeah, okay. Well, yep. went underneath, wrapped right around. That was an incredibly easy cap for them. Uh, now they have pulled this lead to three. It's 11-8. And, uh, yeah, we're going to need to see something out of immunity here. Shocks is the last one, and that's all four members dead. That is not what you want to have happen at all. Nope, and Period. this should be another... They might be able to punch, punch another cap here. Well, intensity. They, they, Robs they, has yep. two guys, and he's able to win Ooh. one. They're not able to win the second. And now Wonder coming all the way back around. And now we have realized just dictating the spawns. Yeah. And I would love to see him just start and opening up doors and causing that. They needed that kill there because had he cleaned up both of them, that just would have been another cap right away and extended this to a five-cap lead, which is just I mean, it's getting harder and harder for them to come back. Yep. So we did see a sneaker here. That was going to be Buzzo, who was able to cap. And now we are still seeing as it is just a fight. Four caps. I want to see Robs really start making his presence known in the spot so many times, and he's just going to go straight forward. And now Mello has two guys in front of him. Spots one. Will he be able to clean up that one? And oh, he gets knifed in the side, but he still was able to take out one. Wonder hears yeah. that call, and he's like, "Oh, I'm going to go." And I don't for know. This, this is snake. just a, you know, kind of a poor defensive stand or poor rotations by the members of, uh, I'm sorry, by the members of Immunity. But it just seems like all of TZ's caps are so easy. Like, they're, yeah, they're like uncontested. They're they're barely getting shot. They're just running right in. So they need to get it together now. And Wonder is on a tear. 18 and 10, seven caps. He's just sprinting around the map, slaying and capping. Oh, yeah. He's, he's just destroyed. Rampage now starting to push up. He's going to be right in front of Owen. He's just going to wait for his teammates to come up and spawn. You don't want to give up easy death here. But yeah, at least you have a teammate. It makes things a lot easier. Has another guy. Two guys front white. He's going to be cleaned up. Buzzo coming off the respawn. Has one guy in front of him. He was able to clean that one up. And now we are on board with Shox, who's trying to defend his base. But, you know, two minutes and 50 seconds. They don't have to worry about it too much. I mean, it's a five, five cap lead. They have time. They yeah, have yeah. a lot of time. Two, we saw. I mean, they closed that gap from four to two in, like, 40 seconds or so last round. So with two and a half minutes left, I mean, this is anyone's game. But six points, I mean, that they're making it harder on themselves. Let's put it oh, that okay. way. Robs was able to take out one. His two teammates were taken out in the middle of the base. Jumping on board with Melo. Melo will be able to slide in here. And that's... This is becoming a bit lopsided the last couple minutes here. And, yeah, it, again, it, it seems like every cap is, like you said, a bit effortless. Um, and that's, uh, I, I, I got to think it's just due to defensive rotations, maybe communication oh, on their side. That was it, a huge It was a little bit there. too fat. He couldn't get yeah, around that couldn't corner. Couldn't punch it through there. 
But well, yeah, uh, that happens sometimes. <laughs> we're hitting the two minute mark, still a seven point lead. They're going to need to just, in my opinion, I, I think they've got to bring it by the one minute mark. They need to be down three or less. Um, if it's much more than that, uh, not that it's impossible, again, it's just tough. The rotations, and I really want everyone to kind of key in on this rotation of immunity. They, they are trying to push through red, and it's just leaving this thing open. And you got to go back to your base every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, not to mention, I mean, the door has pretty much been been wide open, I believe, for the, for the majority yeah, of it. Yeah, they and just now shut the door. Yeah, it's, it's been open for a lot a lot of the game, and that makes you, it just adds another route for one you to focus on. <laughs> oh my God, another one. Yeah. Mello just was able to sneak in in here, and he is just doing an excellent job. Wonder now holding down the back fence. We are basically at the 72nd mark here, and he's going to get another cap. It is 20 to 11, nine point difference. This one, not looking good. Man. Yeah, I mean, they, they looked very, very strong on this side. Uh, it was They kept it pretty close early on in this second half, but about a minute in, they just started scoring in bunches. And, you know, like we've said now <laughs> ten times, it's just it seems so effortless. They weren't very contested. Uh, it just didn't seem like their structure defensively and on rotations was very strong. And that's sure. really something they need to talk about as a team. I, I think the big thing here with Blitz, the everyone knows this by now. One thing about Blitz is that it's all about you. You have to be relaying to your teammates. You have to say, listen, you know, I'm pushing through red. You got to go back home. If you don't go back home, I'm calling your mother. <laughs> and, if, and you know, that's really what You will be to. grounded. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's – this one's over, and it's going to put it to 2-1. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is a best of five. Yep. So after immunity, uh, one of dominating, uh, dominating game one, uh, yeah. it's back-to-back -back here for T. Intensity. So it's just one more win from them, and they've now gone through an upset with – or, I'm sorry, they would now beat the team that just upset Envy. This, this event is just bonkers. Yeah. Point. No, it's I, only day one, and, and I have no idea what's going to happen. I don't know – like, no one in their right mind that to happen. Yeah, and, uh, you know so – some would say, you know, we're American casters. We're, we're more biased than American teams because we watch them yep. a lot more. But it's uh, this is fun, you know, seeing a lot of these uh, international teams, just seeing how, how strong they are and how excited they are to come out here and compete. And uh, Australia and the U.K. are bringing it. Yeah, they're, they're really bringing the noise here. And, you know, coming up next is domination, right? I think, you know, immunity is definitely not out. I, I'm never going to rule them out, especially after what they've already done. Yeah. But, you know, intensity, they, they do look really good good i mean you see them whenever you see a team win blitz you can tell one thing right off the break they have great teamwork right and they're objective minded i mean they i don't know what the slain was there but it looked kind of even yeah no and one no even, one really went, went eight it's like yeah, and no one exactly went off i mean no one yeah. with like a 2-1 ratio that was just slaying everything mm -hmm. in sight you know in that particular map we've seen some guys you know drop like 30 kills on a site wasn't that type of win really but it was uh it was a convincing one it happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a quick commercial break. When we come back, game number four.